good time to you. You don't need to worry about that stuff. That's effy shit. <laughs> like, that, that's the sort of thing that the INDPs do that make you go, okay, that's how they're just playing their fourth slot, Effie. Can you tell me? It's consistent with my previous behavior. <laughs> yeah, it must be consistent. Thanks, man. I did it because I, you were playing. I know. I completely know why. Um, why you said it, right? But and that's the thing that ENTPs do a lot too. Sometimes, especially when they're younger, like Trenton does this shit all the time. He he wants to spike out all possible interpretations that you might you might have of something. ENTPs are a little more aware of the. I mean, the things ENTPs figure it all out logically. I think is what happens. So it's like you kind of know which things not to that they aren't gonna. Like that's that thing wasn't necessary for multiple reasons, but I understand why I understand the impulse to put it there anyway. I totally could see myself doing the same thing, you know. It's and I see this is third slot heavy where I, you know, you know, you know what I mean. But yeah, it's really interesting lurking like that. I don't have a habit of doing that at all. I just, uh, I was going to go in there and I thought, I just want to, because, because earlier, like earlier I was saying, or you were saying, or we were saying the other day about how, I don't feel like I, that, like you're just sort of this mystery person because if you and I are talking, that means I'm talking. <laughs> Most of the time, that's true. Also, give me a chance to see you handle shit. You so you were so clearly the one in charge. You know, it it, it seems to me that like when I watch you and Courtney interact, it feels like you're in charge. You know, and uh, and with with that purple puffin dude. So patient. I wasn't planning on saying anything at all. But then eventually in the chat, I was just like, "This guy's got to just knock his shit off." He's a troll, but at the same time, he's not a troll. Right. He's not really a troll. He's a trolly, curious board person. A curious board person? A trolley curious board person? Is that how he describes himself as a curious board person? I don't know. That's how I see it. Well, I think it was, I thought it was interesting watching you manage the ongoing questioning. And when you're like, he wants to know why you're sitting sideways. <laughs> That, that was an interesting decision. You can see sort of the wheel turning in your head, like, ah. should I? Yeah, like, should I bother with it? Right. He got really annoyed yesterday when you ignored him. Oh, did he? Yeah. Did I answer him for a little while and then conclude he was a troll and ignore him? Yep. And while then, telling and him then all that shit. <laughs> Yeah, but then after you started ignoring him, he came with serious questions, but you didn't address them at all because you had concluded he was a troll. And then he got upset and started cursing and stuff in chat. Hmm. Like, why are you ignoring me? I'm not trolling. Yes, he sort of was. Did, did he get scolded or did he win the point? No, you just said. No, you just said, I'm bored with you now. You had your chance. Because he was being an idiot to begin with. Hmm. Well, that's good. That's a good answer. I scolded him a little bit in chat tonight, but just because it's like, really, you gotta be like. Yeah, be like that. I don't know. 
He just seems. I, for one thing, I don't like people. If you're coming, if you're coming from chat only, without any face or voice at all, then your expectations should adjust accordingly. You know. Yeah. If you should expect to be paid less attention to than somebody who's on micro or camera. I mean, or, uh, yeah, micro camera. Do you sing? Did I ask you? Yeah. It's something I do when I'm out drunk with my friends at karaoke. Okay. But will you sing something for me on recording so that I can use it for something? No. Why not? Are you, do you have a nice voice? You might. I might, but no. Makes do me good, uncomfortable. Do you have good pitch? Pitch? Yeah, pitch. Like, do you, can you match the notes well? Most of the time, I think. That's all it takes to have a good voice, a good pitch. And then, of course, the recording would be positioned against other stuff to make it work. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to use something that I didn't think worked well. So, you know. How, what, what does it feel like to preserve one's privacy like that? Safe. Safe. Do you feel that there are examples you look at from SI of times when you didn't, where you were less hesitant about exposing balance yourself and it bit you in the ass? Or is it just a gut instinct? Both. Hmm. Hmm. I haven't really experienced that where a failure to be private has cost me problems. I have experienced a phenomenon where failure to be adequately circumspect about a third party or something might have caused a little ways here and there. But I don't know. I don't think that's a actual problem. You know, it's like you're you were concerned at first about the Norway song. I thought the Norway song was fun. It certainly didn't make you look bad. I mean it, it was like but I guess you just you feel as though if your identity is exposed to too much scrutiny that does it become reductive in some fashion? Does it reduce you? I don't know. Hmm. What other hidden talents do you have that you don't want to display? <laughs> that depends on the definition of talent. Hmm. I see. Well, you're, you're a mystery. That's the thing about IHPs. I, I, I'm glad to know a little bit more about your medical thing. That's interesting. Yeah, it's like I've had a lot of crap happen in my life. There's more. You don't even need to know more. Uh, if, it's, if it's too tragic, I don't want to know it. Exactly. You don't want to know. You know, your boyfriend moved there to try to get with you. <laughs> yeah, I think that was a theory he had that it would work out. I didn't see it whatsoever. 
That's kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he moved there on spec, basically. What you mean? On speculation that he's going to be able yeah. to pull that off. And he did pull it off. It's I'm impressive. Not sure, I'm not sure he was aware of it himself. Because he made me think I pulled it off or something. Maybe that was his brilliant plan or something. You told... he. You were the one who was moving there first, right? Yeah. And you mentioned you told him, and well, what do you, you were I, you were moving here too? Oh my gosh! What well, a coincidence not, to run into well, here at the market. It's it's not that far from where he grew up, and it is the the city. He grew up on a small island where he probably wouldn't live anyway. Hmm. And at the time when I moved here, he was just finished in the military. So the timing was right for him to pick where he was going to go. Right. Interesting. So it's partially random, I think. He didn't want to go back to his home home island because it's not really a town. Interesting. So Russia is close to Norway. It's right next to it, right? Yeah, far up north it is. But you live you live up north or in the south? No, we live in the south. I'm from up north. Is it nicer climate in the south? Uh, not really, huh. because it, it is warmer. But in the winter, it freezes and it melts, it freezes and it melts, and it freezes and it melts. That so doesn't sound good. like a good thing. Oh, it's really crappy. And it rains a lot. I see. But the summer is warmer. So are you processing this sort of waking up period post feeling bad? It's like, is it, is it a time period where you have to, like, when I quit drinking, I felt as though I had this long stretch of time where I had to sort of regroup, figure out what it was like to not be handicapped by that thing anymore. I don't think I'm that far yet. You got a ways still to go for healing purposes or what? Hmm? I mean, as far as healing healing goes, like feeling yeah. better? Yeah, well, I'm not finished yet to where I will end up. Because it takes it can take months until it has full effect. And when it does have full effect, that means then you'll have lots of get up and go and and be like, whoop you do I want to go rock the world? I hope so. First thing I need to do is get a job, which I hopefully don't hate. Right. Sorry, I'm getting a message here. Give me one sec to read this. I remember you saying to me one of the first time I was in here, you said, there is a bitterness about you. Did I? Yeah, but you were right. It was still the first week on the new medication. I was pretty pissed that I couldn't have gotten this earlier. And then I think about all the people who doesn't even get it because a lot of specialists see it as experimental. Even Audra has the same situation. She found a doctor who gave her what I'm having now, and the doctor moved or something, and now she's not getting it anymore. It's fucked up. What makes your thyroid go bad or whatever? Need to it's, be... Um, 